Hi everyone, I'm playing Combat Commander um, Europe and this is scenario number four, closed for a renovation. What we have here are some German forces in this large building here. They're well armed, they've got a mixture of light MGs and some heavy MG42s on your tripods. We've also on this flank got a couple of units and on this flank um, a unit and a commander with a small artillery piece for the allies who have been working their way up over the last couple of uh, hands of cards we've got um, some line troops and some elite troops um, they've also got some heavy firepower with some 50 cows and 30 cows um, on the map as well and they're making some making this side of the forces are making their way down that side so uh I've already played a few hands of cards now for both sides, and we'll uh, yeah see how everything works out over the next uh, uh, series of turns. Um, yeah, so where we're up to now, um, the Germans have been able to inflict some hits on some of these key Allied counters there of the Americans, um, and on this side of the board. Um, these American units here were able to eliminate the artillery piece with an audacious use of some artillery themselves, which proved incredibly effective, uh, finished off with a firefight to uh, finish them off. So this side of the of the board here, the Americans are making good progress. This side, yeah, not quite so much. I think at this point I realised that I made a, a bit of an error Tactically, I think the American leader here would have been better placed in that hex. But there we go. Um, let's see how uh, let's see how th how the game transpires. So everything to play for. I mean, um, as I said, this side the Americans done very well. This side not so much. They ha they were able to inflict a hit on this um, uh, MG nest up in the building there though. So uh, that might help them. So as you can see now. Um, quite a few turn of events the most noticeably on this side of the map the Americans were able through some audacious use of smoke um, barrages were able to create a smoke screen on this side of the map on this side of the building and assaulted the building um, twice with a variety of units but in both occasions were repulsed back by the Germans um, unbelievably, the Americans had better stats in close combat melee than the Germans did. And in both occasions, the Germans just managed to get the better die rolls from the cards um, and were able to beat them and defeat them in combat, close combat melee. The close combat in this game is particularly um, brutal and very effective. Um, I really thought both, both times the Americans would get it. Um, but they were unable to. However, on this side here, we've got some reinforcements that have turned up. They've um, fast-tracked down this um, side of the map, and they have a flamethrower that, if they can get close enough, um, should prove quite effective against that building. Um, and under this under this um, smoke screen here, um, we'll see if that works out. On this side of the map, yeah, very ineffective, really. Um, the Allies... I've been able to put down some fire on the Germans, and the Germans fired back. The Germans were able to eliminate some units here. The Allies could eliminate some units here on this side, but pretty ineffective on both sides, I would say. The Germans have been able to hold on to the building um, securely at this point. Um, and uh, we've got another couple of uh, 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 turns on the time track. Um, so we'll see. Uh, yeah, we'll see how things work out. So, yeah, finished the game, and how it ended up, um, the Americans, as I wondered, they were able to capture this side of the building, which was their objective, um, with that flamethrower. And it was the flamethrower, really, um, in the hands of the engineers that made the difference. Um, the flamethrower is particularly nasty against um, opponents in buildings because it um, negates the cover uh, a bonus that the building would give um, and then the engineers are particularly good in uh, melee combat they have a high melee value of seven compared to 
say for these example these elite rifles with a five and it's a squared number as well um so i'm going to call it there um they were able to capture that side of the building the germans tried to push them back out but to uh, but lost the the that vicious brutal um close combat encounters so the americans really just secured their position at this side of the building and that was the objective they were going for so overall um how did i feel things went well, i mean it, it definitely provided a, a, a good strong rich narrative um the thing when you're playing a uh, combat commander um solo or playing it solitaire is you, you're going to burn through some cards um there are quite a few instances in this game as there normally is where every single card in your hand is absolutely no use at all um, for how you want the game to play out or how you imagine the game playing out when you're playing at Solitaire. So you do burn through some time, a little bit of time um, and you're kind of waiting for those cards to arrive in your hand that you need that, that for that for what you imagine that force would do um, when you're playing it solo. Um, would, how would I have played the game a little bit differently? I think... Um, Germans were pretty okay, actually. I think the Americans, I probably could have played them a lot better. Um, in particular, this side of the battlefield here, just really ineffective. I didn't place the leaders as well as I could have. Um, the Allies had some lucky, the Americans had some lucky cards um, to enable them to take out the German artillery, which was sort of down this side of the map. That German artillery piece... Uh, not very effective at all. Conversely, the Germans are very effective with their um, medium, you know, medium machine gun um, nests with their um, MMGs, the MG42s in these side of the build buildings, particularly effective with those. Trying to have these American units back here with the 50 cows yeah, didn't really do anything um, uh, at all, to be honest with you. Uh, partly down to the range, actually, as much as anything. Um, but overall. The game provided a good narrative. It's quite it was good fun to try and you know, have the Americans try and storm that building, being um, pushed back by the Germans multiple times. Uh, I didn't think that was going to happen, so it was quite quite a quite a good little piece of drama uh, playing out there. But like I said, that that flamethrower is just vicious. It really is. Um, and uh, yeah, I you know they were they were um, yeah quite effective weapons, although unbelievably brutal um in this time period so you de definitely you know um could see that playing out um the use of smoke was good so overall yeah good fun game um fairly um leisurely pace i played this if i'm being honest um took over over an hour and this is the thing with combat commander some games you can have you know you can play in solo you can rip through a, a scenario in 45 minutes and it all comes down to the um the cards that you that you get as to how the scenario is going to play but because of that um you never you never know how the game's going to play out you never know the outcome of the game and it's this could have easily gone in the germans favor like i said they were able to push the allies back um the allies if they hadn't got that smoke there like that um and the hind again it was randomly pulled the the counters for the hindrance the allies they had uh, sorry, the, the Germans had the MG42s at one point over here. They could have pushed them back. Um, so yeah, a good, a good, a good strong narrative played out, as as often is the case with this game. It just takes a little time to play, I would say. Um, you know, sometimes you can play this game, like I said, in less than an hour. Sometimes you it takes like a couple of hours to play this exactly the same scenario, and it's simply because you got to you kind of got burned through the cards that you dealt. But uh, yeah, good stuff and. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching as uh, as ever.